Hi, and thank you for watching. As I was reviewing some of the predictive programming material, I stumbled across a slideshow that was published in 2009 in The Telegraph, one of the UK's most prominent newspapers. This slideshow concerns an operation with the code name as shown in the title of this video. I have to be very careful what I say on this platform as videos are monitored for specific keywords and are taken down if one gets too close to the truth or if specific topics are addressed just as it happened to be predicted in the slideshow. So I have to keep what I say as neutral as possible to avoid the detection scripts from picking this up. This will also be a redacted version of the video because some of the content that I will be sharing will simply be too hot for this platform. So if you would like to view the uncensored or the unredacted version of this video, please use one of the links provided below, in which you can view the information without any of these restrictions applied. What is also interesting about this slideshow is to realize how it seems to tie in with the timeline presented to us in the iPetco 2 animation, and repeating the same message that is found in other predictive programming instances, as well as Albert Pike's plan for three world wars from 1871. As I have shown in several previous videos, our enemy presented the timeline for the endgame in this scene of the iPetco 2 animation. And we have seen how everything that has played out in the world since January of 2020 has followed what was predicted in this animation since 2012. The annular solar eclipse that occurred on June 10th, which is shown in several instances during this animation, is an important marker and in this scene the girl Lily sits in a circle that represents this annular solar eclipse. And from it an apple is dropped and rolls along the floor making several revolutions which I believe could represent a few days following this eclipse, until it encounters a shoe that is standing on a British coin, representing the world economy, and the apple is then split apart leading to the birth of something new. These days that follow the annular solar eclipse would seem to be emphasized in the slideshow that I'm about to show you given the dates that are mentioned. iPetco 2 shows about 10 revolutions or 10 days after the annular eclipse occurs, and this matches the date shown in the slideshow when events kick off that would bring about this evil plan. I will provide links to the actual pages on the Telegraph's website on the other platforms where I will upload the full version of this video and where you can view the slideshow on the Telegraph's website for yourself. Please take note of how those who were responsible for this continues to mention that everything that they are showing you in the slideshow is purely fictional and we have seen how one cannot really believe those who say this, because when we look at a series with the title Utopia concerning Mr. Rabbit that also features on the wall in this scene, we see that their disclaimer about the fictitious nature of what they are showing is in fact a lie, and that this represents factual plans for future events. And this information is shared under the Fair Use Act. With that said, let's look at what the Telegraph shows us concerning Operation Black J.
I find it interesting that the slideshow has five parts to it and that the final part is called the finale. And yet, when this final slideshow ends, it does not read the end, but to be continued. In my opinion, this also shows that the slideshow is not where this ends and that there is a future application of what had been shared here. Now, I do not know if anything will happen between June 20th and June 22nd, but it is certainly worth keeping this on one's radar because the time frame shared in this slideshow would seem to match the time frame shown in the iPetco 2 animation. Whatever the case may be, our time remaining on the earth is short, and soon Satan will be cast down to the earth to rule over the earth without restraints, and you do not want to be here when it happens. I hope this video has encouraged you, and that it will give you new hope as we look ahead to what could possibly happen in the coming days. Please remember to subscribe to my channel on alternative platforms should this platform be taken down. Links are provided in the description below, and also join me on Telegram, where I will do my best to post updates daily. We are told to watch for our Saviour's return, and although we cannot tell with certainty whether this will turn out to be the day or not, we can certainly keep our eyes on it with great expectation, even if it turns out not to be the day. Are you ready if this is indeed the day? Are you ready to meet your Redeemer in the air? And what will He say to you when this time comes? Have you represented Him faithfully and truthfully to those around you? Or have you presented our Redeemer in a bad light to others, telling them that he is a cruel man or a thief who gathers where he did not sow? We would seem to be well on track to see this timeline play out as anticipated, but only time will tell us if it is true or not. If it is not, we keep on considering possibilities at which our Redeemer may come back for us, as that is what he instructed us to do, and what an honor it is to live in a time where we have already seen so many end times prophecies fulfilled. Just think about it. Soon, those who belong to Jesus will be removed from this earth and will experience heaven and everything that Jesus prepared for us in our new glorified bodies. All pain, anguish, hurt, sorrow, sickness, wickedness, lies, agony, loss, regrets, shame, sadness, insults, injury, and all the evil that we deal with on a daily basis here on earth will forever be removed. Never again will we experience any of those aspects as part of our eternal lives. And God's love, joy, glory, and His light, and His gift of everlasting life will permeate our beings forever and ever. Who would not want that, and who would not be looking for the earliest opportunity at which they could enter into God's rest, that He prepared for those that love Him?